It is that time of the year. Award season just about a month away. I can't believe it. Golden Globe nominations, they came out today, but it is not the nominations everybody's talking about. It is whether there's going to be nominees actually in the seats to watch the show. We're going to get to that in a second. But first off, here's a quick recap of the most nominated today so that you can just stay in the movie loop. The Banshees, Evan Sharon, had the most nominations out of any film today. And then on the TV side, you had Abbott Elementary, as you see right here on your screen, the most nominated TV show. However, what will the award show actually look Look like. After a scandal about a lack of diversity drove the Golden Globes off the air last year, the HFPA has spent the year reforming, adding new diverse members, making sweeping changes as well to its bylaws. Also of note, just days ago, journalists rejected by the HFPA in years past, they lost their appeal in a lawsuit against the HFPA, failing to show that they were economically harmed by being denied membership. So now here we look ahead to 2023, and the HFPA and apparently NBC say the show's going to go on. We talked to Variety's Michael Schneider about whether Holly Hollywood is ready to return as well, though. Are they going to attend? And, and it's really hard to tell right now. Uh, you know, I think we've seen some movement in terms of the producer of the show is Jesse Collins, who has produced all sorts of award shows in the past and, and has a really good relationship with talent and reps. And I think he and his team are really trying hard to get folks to show up. One really wants to be the first to say all is forgiven or coming back. But at the same time, I think there is a little bit more of a willingness of wanting to kind of go back to a little bit of normalcy. Some more key takeaways for you today. Despite blockbuster hit Top Gun, Maverick's best drama pick nomination, Tom Cruise didn't get a nod. And recall, he did return his three Globes last year to boycott the HFPA's lack of diversity. But on the other hand, you have Brendan Fraser. He did get nominated today for his role in Whale. However, he previously vowed to never attend the show again. We'll see what he decides to do. And also, how do today's nominees feel about the honor? Take a listen. We've noticed today that there aren't a lot of reactions from talent. Uh, generally, our phones are ringing off the hook the day of uh, you know nomination announcements, and we haven't really seen that today. So I think everyone's still kind of taking a wait and see moment to see who uh, is is willing to show up, and maybe we'll find out in the coming days or weeks who who is RSVP to the Globes. Yeah, I will say we've noticed that as well. We reached out to uh, quite a few nominees today who didn't want to talk, uh, give more than just a release statement. But January 10th, it's going to be here before you know, less than a month away already. So what's it going to take for nominees to start RSVPing? Yes, Schneider, again, we talked uh, a bit more. He said it's kind of like a game of chicken right now. He anticipates some A-list is going to have to be the first one to come forward, that A-list celeb, and then perhaps more are going to follow. We do know one thing's for sure, though. The next few weeks definitely going to be telling all eyes on those RSVPs, Amrit. 